What's up YouTubers? Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about UPS Driving School. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys about, it's going to be actually a three part video. The first part of it's going to be the school rules, things you can and can't do, um, what to expect, things you're going to need to bring, uh, just a general aspect of the school itself. And uh, the second part will still be on the school and it's going to be on the driving portion of it. It's not going to be just about the rules and all the other crap. It's going to be mainly what they're expecting from you behind the wheel when you're at the school and what can make you fail when you're behind the wheel and just, you know, give you an idea of what you're getting yourself into for the driving portion of it. And then the third part of the video is going to be working for UPS themselves because, uh, Going through the whole UPS thing, personally, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it they don't tell you. Um, so I'm just going to be as real as I possibly can for everybody that's kind of looking into getting UPS. My first thing I'm going to tell you is don't get your hopes up because, honestly, it's like a 50-50 chance. Even if you get the job, you don't have the job for two months. So that's, that's the way you really need to look at it is... You could even just because you sign papers stating that you work for UPS and they're paying they're paying you, you're not actually working there. So just keep those things in mind and uh, don't get your hopes up, like I said. But uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about the school rules and uh, the, what you need to bring. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you, talk to you guys, is what you need to bring: um, HR paperwork. Make sure you bring all HR paperwork with you, signed by HR and signed by you. If you do not do those things, they will not allow you to go through the school. So that is very, very important to bring with you. You have to have your HR paperwork. Um, DOT physical paperwork, you have to have those things. You, you can't drive the truck without it, so there's no point in even going. Um, things that's best to bring with you is a notebook like this right here a little cheap notebook I bought this for 99 cents and some t sort of a folder binder you know something to keep your paperwork in um, those two things will help you out with keeping organized the notebook you're gonna be taking lots and lots of tests so you're better off taking notes so just a tiny tiny little cheap notebook like this right here I mean Honestly, it's all you need. You don't need some huge folder or some crap like that. But uh, then next thing is you're going to need, I would bring baby oil. Um, I'm sure if you've already gone through the process, UPS driving school has a very, very strict uniform inspection. Um, baby oil is actually a really good trick to get your sh your the shine out of your boots. Works extremely well. I only put it on one time a day right before you go to the school. Because if you do it any more than that, then it's it starts to get like kind of gooey and it's just it doesn't look really well and they notice it and then you're kind of cheating the system. Um, so those are the kind of things that you're just going to bring with you. Um, the one main thing I can to kind of put in your head is there's going to be a five and ten, uh, five seeing habits and ten point commentary that they're going to give you whenever they give you the paperwork to sign to go to the school and all the other crap for HR. HR is going to give you those two things. Make sure you study those things before you get to the school. Uh, the, the five seeing habits, they, everything has to be memorized. Not just topics, not just any of that stuff. Every single portion of that has to be memorized. So keep those things in mind. I mean, they're down to like, um, down to like an apostrophe S. That stuff, if you're writing it down or if you're verbally saying it to the instructor, you have to have that in there. So just really, really be you know mindful of what you're memorizing and have it done before you get to the school because when you get there you're gonna have a ton on your plate I mean it's go 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 it's 10 hour classes five days in the week so and you have to be there at like 6 a.m. in the morning so just make sure you memorize it before you get there because it'll take a lot of weight off your shoulders um, and I would take I would take the test the first day you get there honestly if you if you're and you have three chances to take it I might add that too but take it, take the test the first day you get there would be my best advice I can possibly give you because then you have all the time in the world to memorize everything else with the school. So that is a couple of things that you really, really need to do before you even go. Um, and also test fit your uniform with the shoes or boots that you're going to be wearing to the school because that is a very, very 
big thing. I actually test fitted my uniform at UPS wearing my pull up boots. Um, they actually, the uniform looked like it fit perfectly. Well, whenever I put on the kind of boots that they make you wear, you know, just cheap black boots or whatever it is that's polishable, um, the pants actually bunched. That's not a passing grade on the uniform inspection. So test fit your uniform with everything that you're gonna be wearing to 100% would be my next advice for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do over, go over school rules really quick. Um, main thing is, is there's no food or drinks in the, in the school whatsoever. They hand you a, I don't even know if I have it, I got it right here. They hand you a UPS bottle, like this right here. That's the only thing you're allowed to have as far as uh, to put water in. You're not allowed to have anything else in that except water. Um, push your chair in every time you get out because they will take your chair from you. I don't know how all schools are, but I went to the Orlando school and they will straight up take your chair from you and make you stand and kneel for like two hours at a time if you forget to push your chair in. So push your chair in. Um, you get assigned seats whenever you get there. You get assigned diets. You get assigned... Uh, notebook and you get a signed dyad pouch so keep those things in mind because you have to memorize which one you are every morning when you get there to go grab all the proper stuff and where it went at the end of the day um, you have also have assigned seat numbers no cursing um, be at the bus because you're not allowed to drive to school be at the bus at least 15 minutes early would be my best advice um, do not ever be late. They don't take that very politely whatsoever. Uh, keep desk neat. I mean, very, very neat. They're very, very particular about this crap. Um, do not cross any roads at the school. Like, even if it's a fake road, don't cross it without looking left, right, left. Because they watch for that stuff. Um, let's see. You must be buckled up before a vehicle is running and you're behind the driver's seat. You have got to be buckled up before you start the motor on the vehicle. And you have got to stay buckled up whenever you turn the motor off. You cannot unbuckle until that engine has fully shut down. I don't care if you just hit the key and instantly do that because they're di most of them are diesel motors and they take a little bit of time to kind of kick off. Well, they have a little sensor between when that engine actually fully shuts down and your buckle goes undone. And if it says that you're unbuckled before that motor fully shuts down, you're kicked out. So keep that stuff in mind. That's going to be in the next video mainly, but that's a very, very important thing to remember. Um, let's see. Now I'm going to go over uniform inspections. Uh, no visible tattoos. You can, you, if you have like hand tattoos, you can wear gloves. If you have, you know, full sleeves, you can wear, you know, sleeve shirts, anything like that. But you cannot have visible tattoos. If you have tattoos on your neck or anything like that, man, I don't, I don't even know if I would suggest even trying to go to UPS driving school because they kicked out three people and they were wearing makeup and all kinds of crap on their neck and they had tattoos and they kicked them all out because you can still see it. So if you have stuff like that, I don't even know if I would even try it because you're going to quit your job and try to go to the driving school and Honestly, there's like 99% odds that you're going to get kicked out for that reason. Uh, let's see. Clean haircut. That's a must. If you're a woman, your hair cannot be past your shoulders. If it is, it has to be a pony in a ponytail at all times. Um, if you're wearing a hat or anything like that, it has to be UPS logoed. Um, if you're wearing socks, if you're wearing shorts, your socks have to be UPS logoed as well. As well. Your socks in general cannot ever have logos on them that is visible so say you're wearing nike socks and they have a little nike check and your pants right up and they see that they're going to say something to you about that uh let's see keep clean shaved this right here does not pass whatsoever um, the only thing you can do is a mustache and it has to be like cut off right here and very very properly you know maintained um your, your face has to be like well shaved um, they actually get like right right into your face and start like looking for any kind of flaws they can find any kind of little hair that you missed or something because they are honestly after you I don't know what their deal is with uniform inspections I know they like to play a lot of games to see how much you can handle 
but uniform inspections is one of the number one things that I've seen to kick people out of this school. Absolutely stupid to hyper focus on something that has nothing to do with safety or quality of the job, but that's what they do. Um, keep your shoes polished. We talked about it a second ago. Uh, let's see, your sleeves, they're gonna, on your uniform, they want your sleeves to have a crease right here. I mean, a perfect crease right here, and it has to stay there the entire day. So just because you pass the uniform inspection at the beginning of the school, or, you know, at the beginning of the school time, because it's normally like nine o'clock in the morning, and if they see that sleeve that's no longer creased, it just looks flat, they'll still fail you for it. So I'm just gonna let you know that. So make sure you iron the living crap out of that stuff because they are very, very strict. Um, make sure you have your belt on you at all times. And when you're doing the uniform inspections, do not put anything in your front pockets. It makes the pockets bulge and they will fail you for those things too. Uh, shoes, black or brown, you should already know these things if you're going into the school. Um, so those are the kind of basic things. I, don't, I mean, the things that I can remember at least that kicked a lot of the people out. Um, the biggest thing is make sure if you're a guy, make sure you shave. Um, and no tattoos on the necks because you pretty much can't cover that up. I don't think you're, if you're a guy, I don't think you'd wear earrings either is another thing. Um, so just keep those things in mind. Those are really, really popular things that got people kicked out. I mean, I literally, and you, I forgot to say this, you have two days to get your uniform inspection 100% um, because Monday, Tuesday is your trial days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is the days they actually do the inspection and you get kicked out for it. So you have two days to get everything 100% and after that anything you're gone. Um, so just be very very careful with those things. Uh, let's see. What you're going to be doing at the school besides uniform inspections that's typically like 15 minutes of the day so don't even really count it as a percentage of it. But I would say 75% of what you're going to be doing is computer testing. It's going to either be HR testing or diet testing. Diet is the handheld that the UPS drivers hold and scan all your product with and everything like that is. It is very, very complicating at first if you're not used to something like that. Um, pretty much the entire classroom will have an issue with it because even the way the drivers use it, and the way the classroom wants to teach you is two totally different things. So even if you have a guy trying to teach you something and it's a driver doing it, it's not gonna be the way that the classroom is gonna teach you. I can tell you that from 100% experience. Um, so, but that you have to do things the way the classroom does because it'll kick you back out. So those things, that's mainly what you're gonna be wanting or what you're gonna be doing. That's why you're gonna need this little book right here because diet testing is very hard, take notes. Um, HR testing, you're going to have hazard, hazardous materials that you're going to have to learn and you're going to have to learn processes of overseas and in-state and all these other processes of shipping and what to do with these packages. So write things down in this notebook and then whenever you're on the job keep this notebook with you because it will come in handy because there's no telling when you have a hazardous material in your truck or something like that and you have to know where to put it. So keep the notebook on you and make sure you write down the notes. Um, but besides that, you're only going to spend, I would say between 30 and 45 minutes a day behind the wheel overall of a truck each day. And, uh, I think the first day you don't even, you're not even driving behind the wheel. You're actually riding with someone. So three days is what you get behind the wheel. So an hour and a half roughly to two hours would be the rough estimate of how long you'd be behind the wheel the entire week that you're actually at the school. Um, so those are what you're going to be doing and uh, the, the next part of it I'm going to kind of touch up on more um, but hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it was helpful to you and uh, thanks for watching.